Are you planning on building in Tauranga? We can show you how to complete your online application. We get thousands of applications per year and can help you get it processed in under 20 working days. With the new online consent system, you'll find it easy to use and easy to follow. Keep watching to find some tips to make it even easier to make your next builder consent. You can stop the application and it automatically saves at any time. Head to the website building.tauranga.govt.nz and click on Go to Building Consents. This will take you to start the new application. Use the sign up if you're a new user or sign in if you worked with us in Alpha 1 before. It's also important that you read and understand the terms of use and privacy policy and click I Authorize. All the supporting documents need to be in PDF format. Any other file type won't be accepted. Fill out all the user details including a password and confirm you're not a robot. Firstly, decide if you need a PIM. PIM stands for Project Information Memorandum and it helps you to prepare for the design phase. If you're not sure what this is, click on the I for information to find out more. Essentially, a PIM gives you information the council knows about the property, including wind regions, hazards, planning and drainage that can help in the design phase of your project. Choose yes or no. Here, we need to know your role in the project. You may be filling this out as the owner or the owner's agent. You don't need to have an agent to represent you, but it can be useful if council staff have technical questions about your application. Choose your answer and then move on to the next screen. Next, we need to know about where you plan to build, the lot number and the deposited plan or DP. You'll find this on your certificate of title or sale and purchase agreement, of which we'll need a copy. Next, fill in the site address. If you don't know the exact address yet, you can enter the subdivision and lot name. The next step is important. Without it, you cannot finish your application. Upload your sale and purchase or certificate of title here. Attach any consents to your title too. Again, it's important it's in PDF form. If it's not, an error box will come up and tell you how to resolve the problem. you're halfway through your application. Now it's time to tell us the details of the project. It's essential that you give us as much detail as you can. You might be making a three bedroom home with an attached double garage, or a new bathroom bedroom with ensuite, or updating an existing bathroom with a new bath or shower. If the building is up for demolishing, note this as well. Then make sure you know any relevant building consents previously issued in the past. You also need to make sure you know if your building is temporary or permanent. It's important that your consent correctly reflects the life of the building. This may be from 7 days to 50 years. Temporary dwellings such as marquees, tents and stages may have a 7 day life. Permanent buildings such as dwellings, garages or concrete swimming pools are likely to have a 50 or indefinite life expectancy. The estimated value here needs to be correct as possible. If this is not correct, it will likely affect the rateable value further down the track, so it needs to be a true representation. This value also affects the amount of levies paid on the project. Now tell us how many buildings will be involved in the project. Simply click on the descriptions that apply to your project and follow the drop downs. If you're not sure what to choose, click on the I for information mark to get more details. Another drop-down will appear that describes the means of compliance. This is where you will enter how the building work will comply with the New Zealand Building Code. This could be by way of acceptable method, verification or alternative solution. If you are not familiar with the Building Code, you could ask your designer for help. In the next window, you will fill in the contacts for the job. At this stage, you will probably only know the designer and the builder, so fill these in here. This section asks you about any contamination on the site from previous use. It's important that you take all possible steps to find out any past hazardous activity or industry that may have happened there. You can well imagine that it's important for Council to know about contamination or potential for harm to the health or well-being of those living and working in or around the new buildings. It also decides if the property needs any correcting work. Click the correct boxes before moving on to the next screen. 
This is also important for any future occupants. This section covers off any other information we may need about any legal conditions. Make sure you answer all the questions. This part here will make sure you've uploaded any information you need to attach to your consent. Click on the green buttons. Remember that they need to be in PDF format. If you don't have a file to add, click all the no file boxes. The review section is the final stage in the consent application. Take the time to check that all the information is there and correct. Your 20 day processing time will not start until everything is there and checked. Council building staff will need to vet this information, so there may be delays if these gaps or inaccuracies. When you're happy everything's filled in correctly and you've attached all the files, you can add any other comments or information in this box here. Then type in your name to confirm consent to application processing and that you accept the related charges. If you would like to save what you've done and submit the application later, click the blue button or click the green button to submit now. The screen will now show you've submitted the application and that you'll get an email to confirm it. And that's all there is to it. At this stage, you can click the blue button here to go back to My Applications. You can check any other consents you may have straight from here. From here we'll vet your application for completeness and email you if we have any other questions before a technical review begins. You'll get all communication from us electronically if at all possible to make sure this part is quick and efficient for you. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll find this helpful for the next time you apply for a building consent in Tauranga.